Nah, dude. Don't be a fucking idiot. Billy Joe Armstrong was not being anti-American when he wrote American Idiot. He was talking about the Bush administration, and I agreed with him. We all did. Asshole. I grew up with about eight years of Bush. I had an ass full of Bush, and I couldn't take it. I missed Ronald Reagan. I missed Bill Clinton. I'm just... I, I, I was sick of 9-11. Where the fuck were you, Russian? What he's saying there, an American idiot, and it paying homage to fucking... I, I don't think he's paying homage to, but... but um, Mellencamp Mellencamp ruled with his album American Fool That's fucking great Which is also Different But Billy Joe Armstrong asshole When he said I don't want to be an American idiot He was he was quoting himself uh, By Amer um, By saying you know so when this, so when the smoke clears, here I am. He was quoting himself, paying off like Lennon would. So when the smoke clears, here I am. You reject all American, falling from grace right on my face to hell and back to hell again. I've gone. You're not my type. And he and and with that song, he was paying homage to Kathleen's Hannah's, um, reject all American. Gets good grades and plays guitar. Thinks he's cool, but really is not. Reject. Sports car. Mausoleum. Sports car. Mausoleum. Reject. All American. Reject. <laughs> if you work hard, you'll succeed. He's overrated. Incorporated. Incorporated. You need to know what you're talking about before you say it. You've been, you're, you're talking about fucking 10 years ago when you were following me around, shoving that song up my ass, going, hey, and I'm like, well, be a Russian reject then. And I was talking to you, asshole. We'll be a Russian one. The song right now doesn't apply. Billy loves America. I, I can show you things where he's basically draped in flags. He loves this country. He was protesting a certain time and point in America. Dude, get with it. What what year is that record? 2005? It's a whole different administration. Don't want to be American. Yeah, everybody do the propaganda. I mean, it's, yeah. But I mean, do you think that that is an appropriate song for right now? For Joe Biden and, 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 and post-Trump? How old were you in 2005? Do you even remember... Uh, getting 9-11 rammed up your ass like every other American? Learn what the fuck you're talking about. And, and, and you know, I don't think it's good when Green Day talks about politics anyway, but they, they hit it dead on. And like I said, he's quoting himself with his song, uh, Reject All American, or American Reject, and he's also quoting Kathleen Hanna, who he's a giant fan of, with her, with her album, Bikini Kills, uh... Reject All American. I'm pronouncing one of them wrong. It was Kathleen Hanna's. Um, the song was called Reject All American. But um, the album was called. Yeah, and no. And, and Billy's was America Reject, but he also had another song that was on Nimrod. So when the smoke clears here, I'm your Reject All American. American Reject, same difference. But um, Mellencamp's American Fool is awesome. It's like American Fool. He's talking about little pink houses. What do, what do you think that means? Here's a ditty about Jack and Diane. Two American kids doing growing up in the in the hot land. It's all praise for America, dude. And look deep under what Billy says about it, too. He loves his country. And, dude, I mean, don't you remember Al and the Hot Rollers? <laughs> Things that got the, with their song... <laughs> what do you say? Wait, what was that band? Tony Maselli's daughter's band. What the fuck? Uh, Tony Maselli's daughter's boyfriend's band. Alan the Hot Rollers. American Idiot. No. No, no, no. Billy Joe Armstrong had an American Idiot. But, um... American Reject or something. I, I forget. But he said, things that got to change. We're gonna make a fuss. Until Reagan, Reagan, Reagan listens to us. See, don't try to play song games with me. But I think Mellencamp said it best, that better than all of them. American fool. <laughs> Just an American fool.
American idiot, reject all American, American reject. That's that. You're all mad because I said, well, be a Russian reject because the song didn't apply then. I didn't want to be an American reject when, when he put out that song. I was so sick to death of it. Sick to death of Bush. Ha, da, 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 da. Bush, Cheney. And it was during that election. Bush, Cheney, Bush, Cheney. Everywhere. And I'm walking in the ghetto fucking with my guitar player, Alex. And we're just looking. We're, we're looking left and right. And Ted's walking behind us. I'm like, what do you see, gentlemen? And Bush, Cheney, Bush, Cheney. Little, little signs everywhere. And fucking 40 ounces and empty crack vials blowing. 40 ounces of hurricane, plastic bottles of hurricane blowing down the street. I'm like, this is disgusting. And I remember someone driving by with that in their car. Don't want to be in a Mary. And I'm like thinking, Jesus Christ, too bad. But don't act like you're some kind of rebel for playing that. You ain't no fucking rebel. And you are. And you need to be now. Know your country. And get the fuck out of this country if you don't like it. If you don't like it get the fuck out my country what'd you what'd your what'd your parents do my father was a vietnam veteran <laughs> he'll twist your fucking head off you don't ever what the fuck's wrong with you it's disrespectful you ain't billy joe armstrong <laughs> that motherfucker can explain to you what he was writing i shouldn't have to explain it for him dickhead little pissy ingrate and go to russia and sell your ass Sell your daughter's ass. <laughs> if you can imagine that. If you could, oh, sell your computer. <laughs> Go to Russia. My computer. Yeah.